Okay, welcome back. Um, we fixed our uh, two column look here, takes care of that issue. Um, I'd also like to maybe make this uh, gray background out here look a little bit nicer. Uh, maybe I want a little f image, a little fade. Maybe I want it to be sort of light blue up here and fade into white by the time it gets down uh, to the bottom here. So again, I'm going to use a background image to do this. So let me just jump over to Fireworks, close this out. Um, okay, so I'm going to open a new canvas and make it nice and big again. Uh, let's see. Okay, now this time um, I'm just going to create another rectangle. It's sort of shaped this way, um, and let's make it uh, for now maybe 50 pixels wide and 500 pixels high, and just place it over at zero zero. All right, and inside of here I would like a gradient, so I've got to go here to gradient and just a linear gradient. Okay, so there's my gradient from black down to white, but I don't want black, so I'm just going to click my little color picker click on this little square here and uh, sort of pick a blue color. It's going to be too dark probably, so but I want that color and then I'm just going to go in and use my color wheel here maybe just to lighten it up because I want it to be pretty subtle. Um, so let's try that out. I might come back and put a texture in but let's just try that blue for now. Um, so I'm going to fit the canvas and really I only really need this again to be one pixel wide by 500 high so I'm just going to adjust that here under um, pixel dimensions one pixel um, and it seems to disappear but it's really out there um, see it's right there but it's so skinny we can't even see it and but it's going to tile um, and the beauty of doing it this way is that it downloads super fast I can zoom in if you really don't believe me that it's there. I can zoom in way zoomed in. There it is. It's just one pixel wide and it goes from blue down to white. Okay, so I'm going to export that out so I can have a copy of it. Uh, get it right into my stuff here. And there it is the blue faded BG background. Okay. All right. So back to Dreamweaver now. Now that I have this uh, little piece. Okay, so um, let me zoom out here so we can kind of see how it's going to function here in um, Dreamweaver. So this area out here, this gray color, this gray background color, that was defined in the body um, element here, the, body, the rule for the body, the CSS rule for the body. So I'm just going to go back to that, select it, edit it, um, and you can see it takes me right to the background color. I'm going to browse and find my um, little blue faded piece. Say, uh, I think it was actually this one. Well, that should be a JPEG because that fade will look better as a JPEG. Okay. So, and I want this to repeat in the X direction, so across the page. And let's just see what happens when I click apply. We should see that. Um, I think we're going to have to preview this in the browser to get that. Okay. All right, so let's take it out and look in the browser. Here it comes. Okay, so there you can see that um, that faded look. So it's blue at the top, and then it fades to white. Um, so just an option there. I'm not saying that you, that needs to be done, but it is an option that uh, gives you a little nicer look, or a little different look, I should say, on your page. Now, with that back there, like that, uh, it creates a little problem along the edge of my page here. You can see down here where it fades into white, I lose um, a border. So in the next tutorial, we'll fix that problem.